2021 was a strangely bad year for the Raptors, who had aspirations of making the playoffs. They ended up in the lottery, which ultimately secured them one of the best players out of the draft. But they have aspirations to return to a playoff scene or to relevancy in 2022. So in today's video, we break down why the Raptors are set to break out in 2022 and give you three reasons why. Let's get into it. Welcome NBA and Raptors fans. This is Amateur Hour Sports, the channel where you get NBA content with a focus on the Toronto Raptors at least four times a week. We had a great year in 2021. Thank you so much for supporting me over the course of that year. Let's make 2022 even better. And you can start that by subscribing to the channel and staying up to date with all those Raptors videos we put out every single week. Let's get to 8,000 subscribers. But today's video, why the Raptors are gonna break out in 2022, giving you three reasons why they are set to take the next step in just getting themselves back to that contention, getting themselves back to that relevancy, because, well, it's not going to happen in 2022. It's not just gonna happen overnight, but we could lay the foundation and take the right steps toward the future over the course of this year, especially over the next few months as the season continues and as the season gets towards the end and even towards the trade deadline. So we're going to give you three specific reasons why this Raptors team is ready to take the next step and why you can expect them to in 20. 22. The first reason is the fact is there is just a lot of talent on this current roster. The starters on this team are great. It's no secret that one of the reasons for the demise of this team right now is the bench and the lack of scoring that the bench actually helps out the starters with. A very good testament to the way that these starters can play together if healthy is that game against the Clippers on New Year's Eve. Pascal Siakam, Fred Van Vliet, and OG and Nobi all have games where they put up high 20s in points, mid to high 20s in points. Even Fred Van Vliet eclipsed that, was 31 points in the game. These players, this core group, can really take stride when they are playing together, when they are healthy, when they're able to play together. The problem is the lack of bench talent. And I mean, those three guys played outrageously and Scotty Barnes wasn't even available. And I think it's time to call him a part of that true core of this team, the way he's been playing this season. So there is a ton of talent there. I think that Siakam, Fred Van Vliet, OG, and Nobi, like... At some point in the career, Siakam's already been an All-Star. I think that they're destined for at least one All-Star appearance each. Siakam already has his. It's possible for him to get back, though I don't see it as very likely. Fred Van Vliet should be one this season. OG and Anobi, if he continues to improve, will get there. And I mean, Scotty Barnes as well is All-Star caliber in the future. Absolutely no doubt. He's superstar potential in the future. So a ton of talent there. And you can round it off with a nice solid center in Cam Birch or some other players. I mean, you want to go with Gary Trent, the shooting guard position as well for your starting line and play small ball. Gary Trent is a very talented player as well. So so much talent in the top part of this roster. The bench is what is the problem. But if you ask me if I needed to fill out the bench or if I needed to fill out the starters, which one would be more difficult? Obviously, much more difficult to fill out the starters. You go to the New York Knicks and they're like the polar opposite of the Raptors. They can't seem to figure out how to make their starters effective on the court, but the bench continues to come in and clean up the mess. The Raptors completely different, completely different, but I think it'll be much easier for the Raptors to get that bench filled out. There are assets available that we can trade, and we're going to visit that as we go throughout the video, and I think that the Raptors, Masai Ujiri in general, has always been good in any of his endeavors in the NBA at making a real deep roster, one that is built for the regular season that can go challenge in the playoffs. And if things go right for them in the playoffs, well, then you have the 2019 NBA championship for the Toronto Raptors. So, so much talent here. Siakam, OG, Van Vliet, and Scotty Barnes building around some of these guys. I mean, you don't have to build around all of them, but to be able to choose with that crop of talent is going to be very fruitful for those Raptors as we go through 2022. The second reason why the Raptors are ready to take the next step and take that big leap this year is the age of these players. This team is so so young. This is one of, if not the youngest teams in the NBA, and they are already decently competitive. When this team can stay healthy, this is an above 500 team. They've dealt with injuries right now. They're just a couple of games below 500. I think that if they maintain health in the team, we're going to be uh, just above 500 as we go throughout the season. But even with the bench troubles, even with only the starters really contributing. I mean, this team is so incredibly young. Look at the players I described. Look at that core group of players that I described in Siakam, Van Vliet, Ananobi, and Scotty Barnes. 
Siakam and Van Vliet are 27 years old. Those are your vets. Those are your, you know, your experienced leaders on this team. And they're only 27. I would say they're just entering their prime as basketball players. OG Inanobi is 24. He's not even close to his prime yet. And Scotty Barnes, oh my goodness, he's already this good and he's 20 years old. The oldest player on this team is Goran Dragic, and he's not even really a part of this team, so let's not even count him. The oldest player on this team is 29-year-old Kem Birch. So, so much youth within this team. They're going to continue to get better individually, and I think more importantly, they're going to get better as a team. They're going to grow together. So they can grow individually. They can find all these talents to themselves, but also as a unit, the chemistry is going to continue to build. They're going to figure out how to win together. And I think that is the most important thing. So much youth allows us to have a lot of flexibility. You know, the contracts, I don't think there's really any bad contracts on this team. So in terms of trading some of these assets, if you want to fill the roster a little bit more, you want to find a little bit more depth in your roster, then you're able to do that. There's so much flexibility. There's so many ways that the front office can take on the challenge of building a better roster for Toronto Raptors fans. And with the ages of all of these players, they have so many different choices that they can make. I am very excited to see how this team develops. I mean, Scotty Barnes at 20 years old, he is already ascending into a very good NBA player at 20 years old. He's already at the level of being a very good player who is consistently tasked with defending the best player on the opposing team who gets a lot of focus from the opposition defense for what he can do. I mean, he's starting to find that three point shot. God help the NBA if Scotty Barnes becomes like a, a really, really good three point shooter. And he's already quite a good one. This team with all this youth can really take the next step over the course of this year and find ways to win together. The third reason that the Rabs are going to break out in 2022 is the draft picks that this team has. There are a lot of teams in the NBA who are in maybe some tough situations who don't have the draft capital to either make some trades or to just find the players in the draft to really help out this team. The Raptors are not in that boat. They understand that their first round picks are the assets that help them the most. They're a team who in the free agent market just don't really attract the best ones. In the Masai Ujiri tenure, the most marquee free agent we've landed is Damari Carroll. And the most recent good free agent pickup for the Raptors is probably Sfimi Hailuk. And yeah, we know how that one's going. So to build a roster, to find talent for this team, it comes through the draft. And we've done a great job of keeping on to the first round picks as of right now. When we went to go towards that championship, we lost some first round picks. We absolutely lost some first round picks, but losing them was necessary to going and winning the championship, like trading one in order to get Marcus Gasol, who was instrumental in that playoff run, having to defend Giannis, having to defend Joel Embiid. So the draft capital is very necessary. And the Raptors are one of the best in the NBA using these first round picks. Have we had some bad picks in the tenure of Masai Ujiri? Absolutely. We've got Bruno Caboclo and an argument can be made that Malachi Flynn is starting to enter that territory for the picks. But we also have a lot of great ones and we have a lot of great ones that come later on in the first round siakam with a 27th overall pick og and anobi with a 23rd overall pick so there's absolutely some talent there for the raptors to find in these draft classes even if we are not to tank and even if we do end up tanking we are going to have good picks and not only are these going to be good picks but when the time is right to really try to go for it the picks are there when you want to make a trade to bring in a really good player who's going to help out this team but having scotty barnes in that rookie contract we're probably gonna have another good player coming in on a rookie contract for next season that's going to give us even more flexibility the contract situation the cap situation is really good for the raptors right now the age situation is really good for the raptors right now and the assets available for trade and the assets available to find new talent is there for the raptors all of the things are in place for the Raptors to eventually get back to that contention level. The one thing that fans and the Raptors need in order to get to that point is patience. It's not going to happen this season. It's probably not going to happen the next season. But we want to lay the foundation for that really good future that this team definitely has. I mean, it is their for the taking. It is up to the players, the coaches, the front office to seize the opportunity with this group of players. If that means making a big trade this season or next season in the calendar year, then so be it. I trust the front office to make the correct decisions to propel this team back to, I think, where it does belong. I mean, Raptors fans, Toronto in general, it's turning into a basketball town. This, this city, 
This city deserves to get back to that promised land. We, we, we had our taste of that 2019 championship, but winning is contagious and we want to see even more for this team. So would love to get back there, but I understand it's going to take some time. You need to understand that as well. The front office is making the right decisions and I don't really see any weaknesses as we go into the future. Obviously, the bench is a current problem, but I think that is something that can be rectified. And I think that Masai Ujiri is understanding of this situation and it is going to be rectified as we progress through the year. There are great times coming for this franchise. Just stay put, Raptors fans. So our first video of 2022, I can't wait to see what Amateur Hour Sports can accomplish over the year, as well as the Toronto Raptors, what they can accomplish over the year. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Please give a like on the video if you did enjoy. If you're still here watching in the video, I think it's safe to say you did enjoy the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We put at least four videos a week out about the Toronto Raptors, so make sure you're subscribed. I feel some big things coming for the brand and you do not want to miss any of it. I think we maybe want to start branching out, maybe more focused on this specific channel but let's maybe try to add in some more teams to our arsenal can we cover some more stuff let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below on that situation but we'll see you again next time for another video Bye.